On a trip in Japan, Mr. Potato and his girlfriend Miss Potato had a chance to cross through the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge while traveling from Kobe to Iwaya. Wow, look, Mr. Potato, what a long, huge, awesome, fantastic, wonderful bridge! <clears throat> Miss Potato, let me tell you how impressive this bridge is. Luckily, I did my research before coming to impress La Miss Potato. <clears throat> Dia, do you know that this Akashi Kakyo bridge was innovated through the concepts of six other predecessor bridges? Iron bridge inspired the usage of metal for building bridges instead of stones, so that it is stronger and lighter like the steel used in Akashi Bridge. And remember crossing the awesome huge rock? That's actually the anchors for the cables. The concept of using cables and anchors for bridges was first introduced in the Menai Bridge and Niagara Bridge. On the other hand, Brooklyn Bridge inspired the use of kaisans to grip the seabed and the Golden Gate Bridge gave birth to the concept of honeycomb structured steel towers for Akashi's maximum strength and flexibility. Last but not least, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge inspired the concept of using open latticework structure to stiffen against the wind since the bridge is situated in a typhoon alley. Miss Potato, I guess we can learn something important from here. The importance of an engineer to learn, utilize, and apply knowledges and concepts from predecessor engineering events to widen his or her apprehension skills to complete projects is success. Don't you think so, Miss Potato? Miss Potato? Miss Potato!